What do you do when you're getting so much hate? So much negative press that disaster seems to be the only outcome. This is the exact situation that Darkflow Software found themselves in going into the 2023 new year. But unlike most new year, new me goals, the development team seems to have taken this to heart. Fast forward three months and we are seeing some critical changes happening to the game enlisted. And while it would be easy just to ignore these as part of their job, it would be a disservice to the direction this game is actually going. And some insights to the past development of enlisted. You always read it at the bottom of the news releases. We appreciate your feedback, but despite the numerous Reddit, forum posts, and even tweets, it seems like it always falls on deaf ears. Yet in the most recent Making Enlisted Better release, most of the things they are implementing are from our actual feedback. It goes from engineers being added earlier to the progression in Tunisia, to more points for playing the objective. The writing is on the wall. Making Enlisted gameplay better. Many of you would say, but this feedback we've been giving for years now, and it is just now getting done. How does that show a change in the minds of the Snail Dreadlord? Well, you can look at Darkflow and say, well, they're just slow to do anything. But Simon Weston once said, if you constantly dwell on the past, that is where you will end up living. I choose to believe that the community managers are looking at a large pool of feedback, taking that feedback to the devs, and the team is looking at it with productive eyes. What can we fix quickly that the players are asking for? Overhauling the campaign system is a massive undertaking, but moving an engineer unlock from Tunisia is a pretty simple fix. I want to stress that just because something is simple doesn't mean it isn't impactful. Giving more XP for capturing points incentivizes players to play the objective more, which in turn gives the players more competitive feeling games. It's a sound business strategy, and this feedback is amplified by the personnel additions. Death. Vault is a bit of a legend in the enlisted community. Many of you have probably seen his work and not even known it. If you've ever looked at a spreadsheet with the weapon stats, including the ones with the hidden dispersion stat, well, that exists because of Vault. The man is pretty active inside the enlisted community, and while I don't know his official title or working relationship with Darkflow, he appears to be taking over communication between the CCs and devs. Constantly on the content creator discord, I am getting pinged for feedback on updates, gameplay, events, and proposed additions to the game even. I've said this many, many times on Reddit. I don't think people like myself are or should be gatekeepers to enlisted. However, I do appreciate what is basically the bat phone for communication. I'm able to get answers or clarification on things in order to bring more accurate content to you guys. If you guys have something that you want answered, please leave it in the comments. I will try to get as many of the answers from Vault as I possibly can. While he's only one man and having communication with a small base, we are also seeing, you know, community managers like KO Fox and others becoming increasingly more active on the forums and on Reddit. I bid you stand! Man of the West! Teased on the 16th, it looks like a roadmap for Enlisted will be coming in the next few days at the time of this video. While a roadmap has been a hotly contested topic, many in the community have been asking for one for the last two years. But did you know there was actually a roadmap for Enlisted before this one? Back in 2017, the first post on the Enlisted website was actually a roadmap. While it is pretty dated by today's standards, it does talk about character customization, bayonet melee kills, the addition of equipment such as shovels, ammo pouches, etc. All of which we see in the game today. If you do go back and decide to read this now historical document, you will notice that there are no dates, no timetables on these additions. Many of these additions didn't come until four years after the post of this roadmap. What does this mean for us, the community? Well, it means that while there might be things on the 2023 roadmap, we might not be seeing them actually in 2023. I doubt it will take four years for them to add anything, but let's face it, in 2017, the game was an idea. They had no levels built, no weapon models made. The game wasn't even on Kickstarter then, let alone in closed beta. However, they did make it into the game, showing a level of dedication to the game's development that we tend to miss as a player. When the full 2023 roadmap is released, I will be sure to cover it and give you guys my thoughts. So be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. 2023 is going to be an important year for Enlisted. Lessons have been learned, but the core of the game still remains the focus. 
Well, scholars, that's all I have for you guys today. As always, hit those books and hit those bottles. Cheers.